right? Waggle. Well, we're here at Animal Care and Control in San Francisco with one of our adoptable doggies. This is Pumpernickel. He is about four, four and a half months old, I think. And um, a little kitty mix. Hey, Pumpernickel! He's very so sweet. He has Oh, is that a good tasting? Oh, you found a treat! He's like, if I sniff hard enough, I will find a treat eventually. Hello, Marilyn. Can you sit? Can you, you want to show us good sit? Boy. Can you sit? Oh, good oh, puppy. Oh, so good. Oh, good puppy. Oh, he's so smart. He is so smart. Oh, look at that stay. Look at that stay. You Mary so says, hi, sweetie boy. You are beautiful. And you say, thank you. Oh, and he's the gentlest. Look at that. Look at how gentle he takes his, the treat. So Pumpernickel here is the last of eight puppies we had uh, surrendered to us. He and his seven siblings um, were surrendered at, <laughs> at um, just a couple weeks old. And um, so they have pretty much, so they went into foster. <laughs> oh, good scratch. Good Look at that belly. Yeah, you are so good. He How was... big do you think he'll be? Um, so he's maybe 20 pounds now, so he'll probably double. I don't think he's gonna be one of those huge piggies. Yeah. Um, but uh probably like maybe at the max 50 pounds. <laughs> Did you hear something? <laughs> got a good close up. So yeah, so he with us pretty much since he was born. And, he doesn't know um, much place else. But exactly. Here. And the nice thing though, it's he's extremely gentle. As you can see, he's been trained. Um, <laughs> he's on a really good start. To his life. And you are very food motivated. Oh, Look, I don't good even boy. have to ask. You know exactly what we want. Ruth has loved this fur baby. I know, right? <laughs> and um, one of the, so he, he and his brother, Rye, we named them all after bread. Different kinds of bread. There was bun, bagel, pita, <laughs> sourdough. Can you catch? Oh, no. Nope. no. <laughs> Not yet. We'll work on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he he and his uh, brother Rye were, who just went, um, left last week, finally. But um, they were the only ones who were black. Mm. And black animals include like dogs even mm -hmm. I know people know what most people know black cats are harder to adopt out but black dogs too so Mike asked where is he located he's in San Francisco San Francisco animal care and control he's ready for an, oh look he's so smart I know so and gentle and he's lovely attentive. he's very he's just such a good boy you know how some animals can be like kind of scatterbrained he seems like he's very like in tune you know absolutely he is he is focused especially on people i mean obviously he was sniffing around oh, and yeah. exploring but especially <laughs> if you have that food let's try to catch okay oh <laughs> no <laughs> he's got the first part down i think we just have to go a little bit closer what'd you find what'd you find did you find something? Did you find something? Did you find something? You want to play? Sure, he is very sweet. Dog. Oh. Ready? <laughs> he doesn't, I don't he doesn't, know. He doesn't trust the catch yet. I don't know. I don't know. But he's still a puppy. And the nice thing, like, we've, he's been socialized with his siblings. Go get it, Pumpernickel. And other dogs here, and just all kinds of people because of our volunteers. Super socialized, confident. <gasps> What'd you find? Did you find a toy? Did you find a ball? But then he's like, yeah, just really gentle and earnest with those eyes. Oh, wow. He looks really beautiful in the leaves. So I'm trying to like get my shadow know, out right? of it. <laughs> See, people, we have seasons in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. We have fall. There's some trees. Come on, pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, right. Go get. No, I'm good. Oh, 
Go find it. Find it. Find it. What? Like, maybe not. I like food more. <laughs> He's exploring. So what type of household would, would you think would do best? So, we're recommending um, a household where, I mean, ideally, he's probably, I mean, youngsters, I mean, we're like, kids probably possible, like, he said, he is very young, um, but he, he is going to enter teething, he's, he's kind of in a teething phase now, um, but it, he could get mouthier as it goes on, so obviously people who are just prepared, um, and supervised things, um, but we, we ideally probably, yeah, ideally for uh, households where, you know, you have some experience with puppies probably beforehand would be a good idea, but he would be a great second dog as mm -hmm. well. Dogs acclimate really well from other doggies. How do you like pet toys? I think he's just very distracted by all the smells right now. It looks like he has a very short, easy coat to take care of. Oh, yeah. No, he does not shed very much at all. You've got a little white spot on your forehead. <laughs> oh, you got sweet eyes. You want to shake? I know you know Dan. <laughs> there we go, good boy. Roll over? You know, roll good over? Good boy. He's so chill. He's very calm. He is. Like he's not freaking out about all the noises no. or anything. Yeah, and again, these are all noises he's he's chewing on my hands a little bit. <laughs> but he's not. He's actually important. I learned from being here and getting my own puppy. Mm -hmm. That's important that you actually let them do a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just but then you don't let them bite down too hard. And then when it gets too hard, you go, ow! Ow! Hi! He's like a model paw is posing you right are. now. You are! This is my model pose. <laughs> and he's so food motivated, he's so easy to train. Oh! <laughs> yes! You are so good. <laughs> you know, crawl, don't you? Don't you? Oh, oh you're not, good boy. Oh my god, look at your sploot. Look at your sploot. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's so adorable. You were so adorable. <laughs> you were just so good. Oh. He's just a, such a sweetheart. All right. Uh, all right, I think this is where we're going to end it. Thanks, everyone. Remember, please help come to Nickel Planet Fire Room. Thank you, Waggle. Thank guys. you.